Okay, so... No, it's a solid work, Cody. That was a rite of passage. Thank you. Concerned Zelda. I beat my first Zelda game! Well, I kind of just sledgehammered my way through my first Zelda game. Sledgehammer. So yeah, that was, that was uh, Ocarina time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that it's all the timelines, but thanks, Oot. I kind of did. Like Rushy, I said, Rushy's asking for your opinions on the game. Uh, so, as I said before, super impressed with just the d overall design. The fact that it had so many temples, the fact that it had the, the two timelines and shit to do in both of them. Uh, the fact that there were so many side quests, uh, so much so that I didn't even find the vast majority of them, I'd like to believe. So many secrets, especially for an N64 game, like, level design wasn't at this caliber back then. It just wasn't. There's nothing you can say or do. You can't really convince me. A lot of games had this design behind them back then. It was really an epic for its time. Nowadays, it feels a little bit small. Um, but hey, the combat still feels great. I mean, it's a lot of waiting and shooting, as was pointed out in certain YouTube videos, but there's nothing really wrong timing. with that. It's it, there's nothing really wrong with timing puzzles, yeah. especially back then. We didn't really, really grasp the greater concepts behind strategy, like action strategy combat. So this was a pioneer. This was the. You could argue that this was what hap like, what made Dark Souls, all of those, these now huge action adventure strategy games, like. B. Like, this, this is the pioneer of just the whole third-person action RPG genre. And it's, impress it's really an impressive game. Um, I got over my gripes with Zelda, the whole Zelda franchise, about the time you become an adult and you go through your first dungeon, because really, that's where all of my gripes end. Like, you stop feeling like you're in an extended tutorial. Though, um, I don't know, it, it, some, something irks me. I can't tell. I can't put my finger exactly what it is. I feel like I'm constricted the entire game, and yet given so many options of things to do, I, I don't know. That that's something I can't put it in the words yet. But that's what irks me about this game. That's really the only thing, though. And out of the big scale of like what I'd rate this game, it's a very small percentage of a thing that would irk the shit out of.